seven weeks, five destinations, 4,300 kilometers and innumerable memories later. The travel junkie in me loves being on the road, but I wouldn't mind slowing down and catching up with Varun. Seven weeks, five destinations, 3,000 kilometers and countless planned and unplanned adventures later, the auto buff in me feels the need to recharge before gearing up for more. Of course, that is just partly the reason for my return to Mumbai. The other big reason is... Yeme! glimpse of the city of Mumbai, or as some still like to call it, Bombay, is enough to turn one's mind to a dream-like state. It has a history, but more importantly, it is a city which clocks in present times like no other. For most, it's a home away from home and a place to work. And yet, it has a rhythm that is addictive, and settling into its tune is easy. So, coming to Mumbai was what we decided to do after our seven-week separation. Mumbai's local train stations are where you can feel the energy and drive of a Mumbaiite. These locals, also called the lifeline of Mumbai, run round the clock following a well-planned schedule, connecting millions of passengers every day. It's the external symbol of the city's spirit, of always being on the move, among other things. Mumbai is unstoppable, especially when your dreams are just a ticket away. Who doesn't know this fact about Mumbai, yaar? With an average of 1000 movies being produced in a year, that it is the film capital of the country. And so is the fascination with the film stars who live here. Manat, one of the most popular actors of Bollywood, Shah Rukh Khan's home is a landmark in itself. So I'm standing at a bus stand right now. This is no ordinary bus stand. Huh? This is the bus stand outside Mr. Shah Rukh Khan's house. You know, when I came to Bombay a couple of years back, I didn't know directions here. I didn't know the taxi taxi driver or Bandra or not. I didn't know the taxi driver or not. Shahrukh Khan ka ghar sab ko malum hai. Well, I'd like to think that we are the stars of our show and I wanted Kim to have a good time. So what could be better than taking her to the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel? Hmm? So you know how me and Kim have been travelling the country separately? Well, this time she was like, Varun. That's how she pronounces my name, na? Varun? I'm really missing you. Can we please do one city together? I so I was like, okay, let's meet in Mumbai. Is that what happened? I think you guys know us pretty well by now. Who do you think is lying? So are you going to keep arguing with me? Are you going to tell me about your trips now? I'm going to keep arguing. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to tell you about my trip. Tell me. Landed in Chennai, got into a turbocharged 2 liter sexy machine. The Audi Coupe TT wow. was so much fun to drive on the ECR I contact. I saw you drove it. Of course I drove it. Not everyone is like you, okay? Aditya was a gentleman. Gave me the keys in an instant. <laughs> and you? I don't even want to talk about Swati Bagga. She didn't even let you drive. Okay, but she let me drive a little bit off camera. You. Track day race car at the KMS track in Coimbatore. Oh my god, so Kim, much fun Kim, to do laps on a race Kim. track. The best part. Tell us about your crash, no? <laughs> it wasn't a crash, it was a spin. It wasn't okay, a crash. So what, what did I do? I was on a Yamaha R15 and I was zooping at about 140, 150 on an airstrip. On an airstrip? On an airstrip. And that's not even the best part. I was like zooping right next to a plane. No way! Yes no way. way! Yes! Okay, that sounds fun. Okay, so where, where to next? I'm thinking Goa. Goa would be fun. 
I have already got my ticket done for Goa. No, 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 no. I chose Goa first. I even said it first right now. Hey, why should I always sacrifice everything? Sacrifice? When have you sacrificed anything? At least I was nice to you today. I got you to the Taj Palace Hotel. We're sitting at the Sea Lounge, and I picked you up in a really swanky I car. I can't believe you picked me up in a Nissan 370Z. <laughs> First time we're driving in Bombay together. Yeah, this is the first time you're driving me, period. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm driving you mad, aren't I? Yeah. Hey, we're getting on the sea link right now. I love this drive in Bombay. So relaxing. This is the only drive in Bombay which is relaxing. <laughs> so the interiors are a lot more spacious and comfortable than I imagined it would be. Ha, yeah, but like, you know when I look at the exteriors, it's got these nice, slick, seductive kind of looks. Yeah. You and me have been in too many other cars. <laughs> and we're just comparing it now. Too much to compare yeah, to. We, we've done the BMW Z4. We've been spoiled, rotten. Or Audi and... Okay, so let's, let's try and wipe all that out. I know. And try and enjoy this ride together. engine is an all new 3.7 liter V6 engine which basically means that it can release more power in lesser time. In this case, it develops maximum power of 332 bhp at 7000 rpm which is insane amount of rush for an adrenaline junkie like me. Nissan is proud of the Z's near ideal weight distribution at 5347 front to rear. But actually, that may not be the ideal because it doesn't feel too stable when you're around the corners. I've been so nice. Yeah, today you've been yeah. nice. So then I get to go to Goa. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Idea. Let's have a challenge. Let's see who gets to win their way to Goa through challenges. Deal? Okay, done. Done. Should we shake on it? Let's shake on it. Come on. Ew. Come on. No. Come on. 